2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans is about to start. Well, this is one of the great eating weeks on the PGA Tour. We're in the bayou at TPC Louisiana. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this is a golf course where, well, if it's not raining, there's plenty of birdies. And crocodiles to bite you if you hit it out of position. There's no doubt. This is in the middle of the swamplands. But I got to say, Pete Dye did an amazing thing with this land. He created, I think, one of the coolest golf courses on the PGA Tour. Very small bunkers in the fairways or just off the fairways. Very small bunkers around the greens. Small greens. It's just a work of art. I love it. It is a golf course you can have so much fun playing day in and day out. I got to say... It's tough. It's not that easy just because of how small some of the green complexes are. You've got to hit it well, but I think if you just know how to chip it and putt it because you don't, you're don't, you not going to hit a lot of the greens, so you're going to rely on your short game quite a bit. I find this course to be a lot of fun to play, and you can make a lot of birdies, but the other stuff will come up and bite you if you're not careful. Well, we love the raging Cajun city of Louisiana. It's a party town. But uh, this week, it's back to stroke play. No team event. So golf your ball the whole way around. Let's get down to the action. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Currently one under for the event. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. We have a par five on this one. The second hole of TPC Louisiana sets up the first of numerous birdie opportunities. Third shot into this par five to a green that sits above the player, but watch out, missing either right or long, you're in terrible shape. Accuracy with your third is a must. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And just about eight feet left to the hole. The putt is underway. Well hold. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Well, that's huge momentum there bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Wow, what a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And now four under for the tournament. He is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. Just six feet between here and the hole. Looking good. Some momentum being built now. That's back to back birdies. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honour on the hole. Mm -hmm. A thick of beauty.
from around 120 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Time to tee off at the sixth. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Butting for birdie. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. There are two menacing bunkers on this hole. The far one, the one right in the middle of the fairway. It looks like a zit from the back tee box. That is not the place to be. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. <laughs> what a shot. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. Why not take another look at that effort? Just two shots back after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. We love the birdies with big wings. Celebrate your eagle, but let's go and make a couple more. Yeah. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Well, that's beautifully judged. Right on four feet. Should make this one. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. Currently has a share of second place. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Going with the hybrid.
Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. This one's online. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Yeah, good spot, isn't it? I got to say, I'd rather be in the lead or tied for the lead than in the chasing pack. Gives you just a little margin of error should you have one, but I got to say, this player is awfully solid. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Time for the second shot at the 10th. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, well played, lovely shot. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. And that's eight birdies today. Still in the lead now after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 11th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, absolutely flushed. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Eagle. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, so close. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the Eagle. Geez, making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Now two shots up after that one. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Absolutely tattooed that one. Four in a row, they're on some sort of a roll. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the 13th hole. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Seven feet to the cup. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. 
And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Opting for the five wood. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And there it is. And now that finds him in first place. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 15th. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. It's on a good line. Ah, that's frustrating. That's a solid part. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Second shot here on the 16th. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Now four shots up after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. If you want to win at TPC Louisiana, you've got to hit a couple of very important shots late. The tee shot here at 17, Rich, is one of them. A tee shot that no player likes to face. Water all the way down the left-hand side. The bailout zone out to the right falls away from the green. No fun whatsoever. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking better. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The closing hole at TPC Louisiana has water all the way down the right, Rich, but that's not its only issue. Bailing out to the left, you'll find some menacing bunkers that you want no part of. However, if you find the fairway, going for it in two will be very tempting. Oh, well, that was pure. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Well, 
Pack your bags, we're all done here in New Orleans. It's time to head to Bourbon Street, and I'm dying to go with the winner of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Oh, you better believe it. Some kind of golfing hat out there this week. The battle down by the bayou this week, Luke, and I got to say, a well-earned victory. Now it's time to go strap on the beads and hit the bayou. And Rich, they did it. A slim lead going into that back nine, and yet they pulled out the win. This player stepped up when they needed it the most. That part of it is probably the most impressive thing to me, how they kept everybody else at bay. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. <laughs>